Welcome, my beautiful Pisces, my beautiful fish, my beautiful mermaids and mermen. I'm Brenda, Brenda Tarot, and I'm here today to bring you your Tarot and Oracle forecast for the week of November the 23rd to the 30th, 2020. Again, I give grace and gratitude and blessings for your interest in my channel, for viewing, liking, sharing, and especially subscribing. Please be sure to click that bell button, that option, and make the bell ring, and you'll get notified immediately when any of my card readings are out here for you to view. This is a collective general reading, and that means that not every single card or the energy they carry may resonate with every single one of you, but take what you can from it and throw the rest out into the universe. If you want clarity, accuracy, and answers to any personal questions, then I welcome and invite you to click the little icon in the top right hand corner of this video and it will take you directly to my website where you can see the services that I offer. All that other information, my beautiful Pisces, is listed below this video. Please remember this, okay? View these videos with an open mind. You have the mindset and free will to create the life that you desire and the direction you wish to go on your personal journey here. Let's see what we have here, my beautiful Pisces. So I'm taking a quick look at these cards. You know, your crowning energy here, these, you know, this is a very positive reading here. I'm liking what I'm seeing here right off the bat right now. You know, your crowning energy tells me with the magician that you're going to have the time, effort, support, and resources to create what it is you want to make yourself happy at this point. Uh, you know, you're going to be able to reach out and do what it is you want to do, knowing that you are, you're on your own personal journey here, but you're going to get offers, opportunities here. Uh, it's like doors are opening for you. Again, you keep moving forward all the time, Pisces. I keep saying this to you. You're expanding, growing, evolving, ascending, and tapping into your higher self. Coming in across the top of you here, you have the Five of Cups. Oh, crying over spilt milk. I'm not surprised, Pisces. You do get up in your head at times. You're either swimming upstream or downstream. Uh, and, and you're either up or you're down. You're happy or you're sad. Uh, Pisces, you may be reminiscing about something in the past. This is a nostalgia type of feeling uh, right now. Uh, thinking about someone, missing someone, or some situation that might have happened that you wished hadn't happened or had ended up better. But this is, this, this is fives are challenging. Uh, in all suits, but this is you realizing that there's more cups to fill. There's more, there's, you know, there's more fish in the sea, as they say, not to worry so much. You know, you're, I do see that there's going to be something coming in that's going to make you extremely busy. You're going to be surprised. You're going to be happy. You're going to be excited. Maybe you're getting busy with your work. Maybe you're creating more clients. Maybe you're getting yourself out there expressing and communicating creatively to to showcase yourself, Pisces. And you're going to be very busy. Something's going to be coming up that's going to make you busy, whether it's in your job, your career, your personal life, whatever. But get ready to hit the ground running. After a long wait here, you have the hangman. Uh, the hangman is telling me that, you know, you may be just wanting to take some time off and have a pause period here after the rush hour. You know, Christmas is coming, busy time, whether we are able to get out and do things, we're still very busy anyway. Maybe your business, Pisces, promotes uh, and improves and gets even busier for you in this season. And you might feel, you know, at times you're hanging in limbo, but then you hit the ground running. While you're in limbo though, Pisces, you are the forever ultimate dreamer. You're always thinking of ways to make yourself happy, at peace. Uh, you know, you're, you're always constantly doing that. Maybe you're going into more meditation right now. Maybe you're thinking about doing that on your spiritual journey as well. I know this is the hangman. It's not the hierophant. It's not the hermit. But they're telling me this is what you're going to be doing. You could also be creating while you're in this mode, Pisces. You could be creating what it is you want to change in your life. You know you've started to see improvement in the energy around you the last couple of years. And you so deserve this. But Pisces, it's because you stepped up. You applied the effort. You did the investment. And this is why the universe is starting to... to, to rewards you right now with the abundance, with the happiness, with the increased whatever it is in, in happiness and peace in your life. And it could be your career. Crossing over your center section here, 
you know, and your crowning energy, the Eight of Cups. You know there is a better direction for you to go. And I think you've made those changes and you're still in the process of working towards those goals, Pisces. You realize that, but it took balance and it will continue to take balance here. You know, you, you tend to be sitting on a teeter-totter. You're either down or you're up. And you, but you're working towards that Pisces. And I see you growing and expanding because crossing over the magician is the queen of pentacles. She is giving birth to her dreams. She puts her hands to things and she makes them grow. She's like mother earth, Pisces. You're made up of t all 12 of the zodiac signs. So you have two queens here. You have the queen of pentacles where you're giving birth to your dreams. And I see it has to do with the financial part of your life here. But the other queen you have below her is the queen of cups. Kind, compassionate, loving, healer, giving, okay? Consider it. This is where you're looking at life. You're taking that into mind. Look at, she looks like she's meditating. She actually looks like she's meditating, right? She's calling in all that she, she's calling in all the elements to help her here. Her higher self to say, you know, I know I can do this. Flowing, going with the flow here beautiful water sign okay at the at the at the lower level here coming in below you here i see you've got the six of wands yes pisces you've had your struggles but you know what you are have the ability here you are the you are the magician you are the ultimate here being able to create your happiness in your finances and also in the emotional part of your life your 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 relationships your friendships that connection is so important to you, right? So, you know, both motherly, both instinctive here, both nurturing, and you've worked hard towards it. Doing what's right for you, Pisces. You're going to see reward after the hard work and effort and, the, and investment. As I said, you've applied to these situations. Ace of Wands, boy, you saw the light. Opening your eyes to the possibilities, the opportunities, the offers. Could be, you know, as I say, when we talk about this ace, we talk about opportunities and creativity, career, passion, self-development. You're doing all of that, Pisces. Answering your question is yes. If you have a deep-rooted question, Pisces, am I going to succeed? Will I have enough money? Will I be happy in my love life? Bingo. Yes. Stop being defensive, Pisces, okay? You also are the most sensitive sign in the zodiac, which means when you get hurt, the wound goes deep. It takes you a while to get over that. You carry it. You think about it. You, you obsess about it, you know, uh, and, and you cry about it. Don't get so defensive, Pisces. This is the time to step up and realize where it's coming from, okay? Uh, if somebody comes in and they, they attack you uh, and your character and they wound your heart, uh, try to, uh, you know, I know you, we don't like confrontation, Pisces, you swim away quickly, and sometimes you leave situations unresolved, so don't be defensive. You've got the, the, the looking glass here, the magnifying glass, that's you, being able to read between the lines, tapping into things on an emotional way, being able to step up and see a situation in complete clarity. Let's start off with our magician here. What have we got with our magician? We have those, we have the resources at our fingertip now. You have the resources, Pisces. Look into your magic bag here and pull it out. It's there. What comes in with that? Let's see why you've got the magician. Because you did the work. Yes, Pisces. Why not? Seven of coins. Am I surprised? Hell no. This is you working hard towards your goals, Pisces. You've been doing this for a while now and it's starting to show it's starting to show profit here. It's starting to gain momentum. You're starting to see happiness again. For some of you, it is the career part of your life. It is the financial part of your life. That gain, Pisces. You know, you might have put out a proposal. You might have put out an offer. But whatever you did, you planted your seeds well. And you're waiting for harvest time, Pisces. It's coming. It's coming. Beautiful. Crying over spilt milk, as I said. Wipe it away, Pisces. Move on. Okay, you still have beautiful dreams here to look forward to. You still have cups to fill here, Pisces. The eight of pentacles, honing up. Yes, I love that. Seven, you planted the seeds. Eight, you're putting in the work and effort. I've been saying this, Pisces. Don't give up. Keep tweaking. Keep, keep changing. Keep amping up your level. Okay, stay enthusiastic. This is you perfecting your craft. Whatever you're working towards, Pisces, if it's your job, you're making those changes and they're starting to benefit you. They're starting to show 
you know, not loss anymore, but profit coming into you. This is you, maybe Pisces, you're taking, you're going on a spiritual journey or you're going on an educational journey uh, or you're going on a physical journey with all of it. But you are doing something here to enhance yourself, to grow, to expand, to see the success that you have dreamed about for so long. You might be taking a new form of study. You might be doing the research on that. You could be taking a course, something new, something, changing something here, I think, in your career to make it grow, make it expand, make it become more successful. You knew and you know innately. You're the most, you know, you're so psychic. You're so intuitive. You're so, you know, tuned into sensitivity, my beautiful Pisces. You know there's a better direction for you to go. And you've known this for a while. And you're doing all the work, the effort, and, the, and, and, and all of that beautiful energy going into something that's making you enthusiastic and happy. But Pisces, you're not there yet. You're still working on it. Don't give up. Don't get, don't, you know, keep looking at the sunrise, sunrise on the horizon, okay? Keep walking in that direction. You've been through the fire. Okay, Pisces, you've had your trials and tribulations. You've had your, your broken heart. You've had your grieving. You've had your, um, you know, bad luck in the past. You're moving on, Pisces. You're not there yet. Eight says, eight of cups says you're not quite balanced. That means you're still working on it. Don't give up, Pisces, because you're going to get it. Look, at exciting new things coming in. Ace of Wands, all right? You got the Queen of Pentacles. You got the Ace of Wands. My goodness. I mean, this is a great reading here, Pisces. Ace of Wands says new opportunities, new offers coming in. Beautiful. Uh, you know, it could be the fact that, you know, again, here, you know, I see that, you know, you're going to see creativity and passion and all of that coming into play here. And it could have to do with your career. But this is about your self-development, knowing that you want to do this, to go ahead, get ahead, grow, expand. And you're going to get it. Pisces, this is victory after hard work and struggle. Yeah, thank you, God. Amen. Father, Mother, God, Divine Spirit, whoever you lean into, those sources of faith, belief, higher self, you're going to be saying, thank you. Oh, hallelujah. Yes. You know, getting the wreath of, 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 of championship here. You've applied something. You've grown something. You've expanded something. You've planted something, Pisces, and now you're going to see the success and reward for it. You're going to get recognized, okay? Maybe some of you are building a, a bigger clientele, building a business, uh, you know, uh, developing that. And you're starting to get recognition now, Pisces, and you're going to see the benefits of that. You've completed something, and now you're going on and you're moving forward. The moon. The moon is Pisces. Why wouldn't it show up? Because this is you, Pisces, needing to know what's going on all the time in the background. Okay? You're going to see the light, Pisces. The moon comes out at our darkest time of the day. Don't get discouraged. Keep moving forward. You're going to see victory come in. Tap into that beautiful gift you have of intuition. Pisces, you're so psychic. You're so, you're so intuitive. You know, you have all the tools here with the magician. You have all the tools you need. Like the dog, he gets taught. He, 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 he moves forward and lives his life by what he's been taught. But the wolf goes on his instincts and his intuition. You're doing that, Pisces. You're going to see that if you tap into that beautiful intuition and you, you, you work together and you couple it with the gifts that you've got, the hard work and efforts you're putting towards this beautiful situation, you're going to get it. Oh, beautiful Pisces. Lots of... Get ready to get busy. I mean... <sighs> Get on those running shoes. Get ready to hit the ground running, Pisces, because when you get out of this hangman mode, you're going to be moving. You're going to be busy. Ah, oh, Pisces, I see customers coming in. I see money going in your bank. I see occasions happening here, events, talking to people, communicating with people, getting together. Not maybe physically right away because of the way our world is, but this is a card of getting down and getting busy. Also, you know, this is, you know, you working towards your goals beautiful you've got the ten the ten of wands on top of the eight so getting busy you've been pushing and pushing very hard pisces the ten says you don't have to push so hard anymore okay know that if you're taking on more than you can chew more work than you can handle we talked about that balance card here didn't we so i want you to know that you're going to be able to step up here step up and get help okay ask for help don't be a be the beast of burden all the time, Pisces. You, you know, I know you think you can do it, and nine out of ten times you do. You take on the task and you get it done. 
But remember, Pisces, you're also sensitive, okay? You're going to wear yourself down. So know that you need to step up. If there's help that you need to do when you get this busy, all right, ask for it. Or allocate, you know, it to other people or make out your priority list here. But this is all about you also not taking on the burdens of other people. Don't try to push dead weight uphill. Ace of Wands, twice. Not once, but twice. Yes, again, opportunities, creativity, career, passion, self-development, okay? You're going to see your dreams come to fruition, Pisces. Just reach out and grab it, okay? Go for your goals. Don't be afraid, okay? There's wonderful new possibilities that are coming into play right now. Yeah. There's our tower moment again. It always has to show up. If it isn't this one, it's the three of swords, right? The tower moment means you're rebuilding. I love the tower because it means maybe something happened that shifted your mindset, that shifted your, that rocked your foundation. Maybe you had a friendship on a weak foundation, but Pisces, you're not a confrontational person. You know, you, you want the world to be happy. You want everybody to be happy. You want to heal everybody. But maybe it was a relationship on on a weak foundation and it crashed and burned and you've moved on. Maybe it had to do with your career and your job and you're not going to get caught in that feeling of lack and loss again here with the five of cups. You want to move on Pisces and you're doing that. The opportunities are coming in now and this is confirmation that you're building a better, stronger, firmer, safer foundation. Beautiful. The hangman. Yeah, maybe some of you feel like you're in limbo. Okay, maybe some of you are waiting to hit the ground and get running and get busy. But this is, while you're there, Pisces, you're not idle. Pisces, you're still busy. Whether you're mentally you, or, or physically, uh, you are doing something that's going to benefit you when you hit the ground because you're going to hit the ground running because you are creating what you want to do when you get out there. All that yellow light around her head, her crown chakra says she's, she's doing the research. She's doing the work. She's getting ready. This is temporary, Pisces. Six of, this has been coming up for others too. Six of cups. You might be, while you're here, you might be reminiscing. You might be reflecting back on the past. You might be thinking, Pisces. Don't obsessive think. Don't be obsessive when you're thinking, especially if it's negative things. But I get the feeling that you're thinking of wonderful things, uh, you know, that happened in the past. And, it, and that's what gets you through these hanging in limbo times, right? Uh, not getting up in your head with the moon card now you've got this card you could be hearing from somebody from the past or thinking about somebody from the past but if somebody's coming in they could be coming in with a, their hand in love attention affection respect or appreciation or even an apology this could have to do with dealing with young energy around you pisces or tapping into your youthfulness and your fun part of you okay maybe you're planning something before you when you get off of here that's going to involve children beautiful you're going to be able to, and, and here we have, we have Mother Nature giving birth. Maybe some of you are going to hear about a child. Maybe some of you are going to conceive and have a child. Maybe some of you are bringing a child into your, into your family circle. But again, she's like Mother Earth. She puts her hands to anything and she makes it grow. Okay? You're going to be able to do this too, Pisces. You're going to be able to give birth to your dreams, whether it's having a child or whether it's giving birth to the physical, for the, for, to the material part of your life. It's just taking time. Here's temperance, okay? This has been coming up a lot too. And trust me, I shuffle and shuffle. Pisces, you know, things are taking time. Like I said, you're, some of you might be in the hangman mode. Things might be slowing down uh, as the month comes in, okay? I mean, this is the end of the month. Things might be starting to slow down prior to December. So temperance is doing things in moderation, Pisces. You're also the most addictive sign on, this, on the zodiac. Don't overdo. Don't overwork. Okay, you know, whatever isn't going to help you grow and expand and feel good, Pisces, you don't like pain, so do it in moderation. Okay, don't overdo, don't push something that isn't ready to move forward. Uh, this is taking your time, thinking about, you know, this is about communication, compromise, uh, consideration, all those emotions that come into play here. Okay, the Queen of Cups, yes, Pisces, she's a beautiful water queen. Uh, you know, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, she may be one of those. Uh, could be somebody around you, Pisces, that you respect, that comes in as a mother figure, that cares for you and nurtures you and wants you to know that you're loved and, 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 and protected. But also, Pisces, this is you. You're, you have this loving, nurturing side to you. You're so beautiful, Pisces. You want to heal everything that walks on the earth here, any kind of spirit. But Pisces, realize that 
you're going to be looking at situations and people in a different way or you know being able to demonstrate it more creatively in that way where you put yourself in other people's shoes to understand where they're coming from okay so maybe this is where the defensiveness comes in uh, take a look at why you're feeling defensive okay and think about it you know do it in a more kinder understanding compassionate loving way and also forgiving way here you've got the eight of swords getting up in your head Pisces you know stop getting up in your head nothing's blocking you you can go forward this is not seeing something in complete clarity maybe you got defensive this week or you know you're going to rather uh, get defensive in the near future with somebody and but tap into your nurturing side put yourself in their shoes realize that you didn't see the situation in complete clarity okay and know that you can move forward from this you need to get out of your head Pisces you are that person that does that upstream or downstream you know you're either happy or sad okay let's see what we've got here as I said to you you know you might be you know you might have to read between the lines don't get defensive here uh, you know read between the lines if you're working uh, you know taking a course or, or having to sign any contracts or documents that's what this means okay dig deep make sure you get all the information here okay don't get tied up in your head here and that's the problem you need to see a picture in complete clarity before you jump to conclusions don't react and then regret don't be defensive what do you need to surrender to surrender to defensiveness defensiveness is a sign of weakness to communicate in a more empowered way stay centered and hear someone out then offer a clear non-defensive response so I've been saying this Pisces you might be coming into some energy this week uh, where you know you might be getting criticized or somebody you might feel somebody's attacking your character and you know you're so sensitive Pisces you take everything to heart so try not to be so defensive okay yes things are going to work out absolutely the question that you've been asking Pisces is yes 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 if it's a relationship yes if it's money yes if it's success peace harmony good health yes okay beautiful your final outcome card Pisces is February now you've never seen me pull a monthly card and I put my hand in that magic bag and said please give me the card for Pisces this is your birthday month isn't it Pisces you for some of you this something very profound is going to happen in Pisces uh, pardon me in February for you the winds of change things are going to blow in uh, and you're going to be able to see change and something major Pisces is going to happen to you in February but I think it's a good thing well my beautiful fish my beautiful mermaids and mermen this is your reading for this week and I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful up optimistic week here to look forward to and remember the universe and the divine your higher self wants you to succeed wants you to find happiness wants you to find peace so surrender to it and move forward towards your goals and happiness blessings my beautiful souls and know that I always and only stand in this circle of love and light for you my prayers and blessings are that you stay in good spiritual emotional mental and physical well-being and health Please play safe, stay safe, and be safe. And I'll see you soon. Look at this beautiful sunbeam that's come through my window on my desk. See the light? Be the light? There you go. See you soon. Please play safe, be safe, and stay safe.